I've shown a couple over 30 homes and they just aren't interested in any of them. What should I do next? Wow. You showed 30 homes to a potential buyer, um, investor, somebody. First thing I'd say is look in the mirror and say, are you the problem? Did I not qualify my buyer enough? Did I not ask them the right questions? Showing so in 30 homes is to me one of two problems. You're crazy or your buyer's crazy, right? And so in my case, I wasn't a crazy agent. Um, I did crazy volume, but I wasn't crazy where I didn't pre-qualify my buyer. For me, the, the one thing that I, I hated when everyone would complain is, oh my gosh, you're so much more successful because of this, or it's not fair because of this. It was very fair. I, I had 24 hours a day, I managed it better. So for me to show 30 homes and not pre-qualify a buyer, I, it, would be, it would be insane. I don't have the time and my, my, my time is worth too much to do that. Now, if you did do your due diligence and you did do everything you can to pre-qualify that buyer to know what they were looking for, I would say you need to fire your buyer. That's not a buyer. You are a chauffeur to that buyer, right? You're driving them around, you're probably stopping at a, a Chipotle or to get a coffee in between. If someone can't make a decision that long, I'm out. And a lot of agents may say, I would never let that go, because you know what? Down the road, he may find a, a house and we may buy it, and I don't wanna let that lead go. People hold on to leads too much. You can't want the, the deal better than they do or more than they do, and I find a lot of agents do that. Um, I think you have to understand that if this buyer is not ready to buy and you pre-qualified them and you've showed them 30 homes, they're not a buyer. And, and I would let them go. I'd swim free fishy. You know, that, that's what I would say to them. So you've got to get in that mindset. Um, my goal was to always generate so you don't have to tolerate, right? So you generate as much business as you can. So when you have those clients that want to look at 50 homes, it's like, I don't need you. Um, I don't want to tolerate it. I'm going to generate so much business where I can pick and choose who I want to work with and not have to deal with these guys. Um, or refer to an agent in your office who's horrible and let them go out and if it does sell, guess what? You're going to 25% referral fee which is much better than all the time, gas, money and energy and efforts that you were going to originally do. So that's what I would do. I'd first take a look in the mirror and see if you're the problem. Um, second, I would actually analyze my client and see if they're worth my time because time is money these days, guys.